My name is Marshawn Davis. I'm currently in Ain't No Mo at the Velasco Theater, and my children's book, A Boy in His Mirror, is available for pre-order. And this is That's So Random. You're reprising your role as passenger two in the Lee Daniels produced play, Ain't No Mo. RuPaul called the show disruptive, hilarious, and thought-provoking. What can audiences expect? What? I can't speak English. <laughs> what can audiences expect from the show? They can expect to laugh. They can expect to uh, be uncomfortable. They can expect to have a little ha ha until they're way way. In the show, black people are offered a one way ticket to Africa after Obama's presidency failed to eliminate racism. If you were offered a ticket in real life, would you take it? <laughs> no, I would not take the ticket. And would I, well, it depends. Like, are we talking a vacation or are we talking like an actual, like, I gotta leave? Like, if we talking a vacation, then a staycation? If I get to, if I get to go for like a, 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 a short period of time and come back, then yeah. But I don't think I could leave everything, everything I own and know behind. What was your first experience to Broadway culture. I saw In the Heights when I was in high school. It's the first time I ever seen a show on Broadway and I didn't know what to expect. And I was like, this is what Broadway is? And then I saw other shows and I was like, okay. That is a version of Broadway and this is also a version of Broadway. What's the secret to maintaining your energy to keep up with a Broadway schedule? Sleep, water, food, music? and my friends. You have a new children's picture book, A Boy in His Mirror, about a boy whose mirror allows him to see himself in a whole new light. What inspired the idea for the story? Part of the inspiration for the idea was from uh, a book that I read called The Monster at the end of this book. It's uh, about Grover and the Sesame Street gang. And Grover, he's been told at the beginning of the book there's a monster at the end of the book. And so in every on every step of the way, he's like, no, he builds walls to stop from getting to the end of the book because he was told there's a monster at the end of the book, only to find out at the end of the book, the monster was him. And so I think the I, that, that metaphor sort of like struck me. And I also wanted to repurpose some of the stories that we know, like uh, Snow White and how she has her mirror. And I wanted to repurpose them for young black boys. You talked growing up with a love of musical movies, which would you say was your favorite, and which was your favorite number? Oh my God, who found this? <laughs> That's good. It has to be uh, Oliver. My favorite number in that show is, where is love? <laughs> you shared on Instagram that a teacher told you that you would never be a leading man. What is the best advice you've ever received? And well, the best advice I've ever received is that uh, it's not a race, it's a marathon. Everybody's running it in their own time. What song can you not help but sing out loud when it comes on? Can you sing a bit of it? We gonna fuck out the night. Like, I don't know, not so bad in lyrics. <laughs> <laughs>